So patterns and sequences, um, quite a common question in uh, the uh, exam. So we've got to you know some special numbers and patterns. So let's have a look. Write down the first five even numbers. Well, the even numbers are to do with the two times table. So that's going to be two, four, six, eight, and ten. I just wanted five of them. Explain how you would work out the the hundredth even number. Well, like we said, the even numbers are the two, anything in the two times table. So that has a general rule of 2n. So the first number in the 2 times table is 2 times 1, then the second one is 2 times 2, 2 times 3, and so forth. So if I want the hundredth number, then I'm going to do 2 times 100, so 200. And in terms of explaining it, then we literally talk about the idea that 2 times table is even numbers. So, rule says do two times the term number. Hence the reason we did two times 100. For this question, the examiners were just looking for two times 100. Um, it's in the two times table. Anything along those lines will give you the mark. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, here are the first um, five terms of a number sequence. So like all sequences, we should look for a pattern, because if it's a sequence, there must be a pattern of some kind. So we can see that here we're adding 4 each time to get from the previous term to the next term. So it says write down the next two terms of the sequence. So we're going to add 4, 27, and we're going to add 4, 31. So it's going to be 27 and 31. Explain how you found your answer. Um, add 4 to the previous term. Uh, could write more. Um, we could write to get the next term. We add 4 to the previous term. Uh, but add 4 to the previous term would give you the mark. Um, 58 is not in this sequence. Explain why. Well, we can see uh, from here that we seem to be going 7, 1 on the end, 5, 9, 3, 7, 1. And we can see that that pattern is going to continue. Um, another way of explaining this could be to work out the end term rule for the sequence. So always worth knowing how to do this because this comes up a bit in the exams as well. So for this sequence, because it's going up in fours, then it involves the four times table, which has the rule 4n. Um, but we can see the first term was 7. So to get the 4 up to the 7, because the first, uh, the four times table will be 4, we have to add 3. So the nth term rule for the sequence is 4n add 3. Um, if this 58 is going to be part of the sequence, then 4n plus 3 must equal 58. And of course we could then go back and solve this, um, so 58 take away 3 is 55, and then we could share 55 by 4, and we get an answer of um, 13, 14, 16, 6, 14 fours are 56, so it's going to be 13 remainder. Well because there's a remainder, then 58 cannot be in the sequence, because if it was a term, then it would give you a whole number. Um, 58 is not in the sequence. Um, the alternative way of doing it would be to just carry on the sequence and show that it's going to go 31, 35, 39, 43, 47, 51, 55, 59. So it's going to go up in fours and we can see that um, 58 is missed. So that would be another way of doing it as well. So two alternative methods for that.